I think one of the most exciting things for me is going to be to see what students do use with this. Mahara has been designed to be um, user centred. It is your space and the tools are there. Knock yourself out. So really um, students can use Mahara as individually as a, a personal portfolio. Um, occasionally there are people who are portfolio junkies who love doing that. Um, I happen to be one of them. Uh, students can um, use it as a social space. So we've set Mahara up so that everyone can create their own groups, find friends and work collaboratively. So when you can create a group, you can create group pages and you have the chance to really be a participant in many different groups. So the potential for student-driven study groups um, is enormous. The potential for students to curate and collect resources that they find really interesting. Um, the potential for students to say, this is my space for the whole of the course. Not sliced and diced into subjects as someone else sees it, but how do I construct my understanding that connects with my social life, my work life, the groups with whom I'm associated. So really it is their domain to, to take and enjoy. Um, I think it's easy to make assumptions about our media literacy and fluency. Uh, most of us are very comfortable with certain media, are comfortable using certain software, but have gaps in our fundamental understanding of how all of this fits together. So the beauty for me of Mahara is that you have a space in which you can explore um, and develop a vast array of media skills, but as an institution we need to think about what are the ways that we can effectively support students and staff to develop this comfort and this flexibility so that later on when they wish to present ideas they know what genre, what medium, what's the most effective way and their portfolio actually allows them over time to look back on their own developing skills and to become much more self-aware of the way that their communication skills have changed over time. So I think sometimes um, this is where a lot of the other findings are unless you anchor it into a program and you give discrete tasks that push them to develop those skills. So somewhere beneath our media literacy approach at, at UOW will be a very simple list. What, do the, what are the, the things that we think are really important? What are the fundamentals? What are the, the array of spaces that we want our students and staff to feel comfortable mm -hmm. and fluent in using so that they do have options?